Good morning, everybody. It is 8.30 a.m. on a Wednesday, and guess what? I am bringing you guys on a college day in my life today. I'm going out of town this weekend, and currently I'm about to head to Birmingham to get my nails done. They are so grown out. These are my real nails. These aren't tips, so they're starting to hurt, and today was the only day it was going to work, but I still have class today, so it's 8.30 a.m. I'm going to get on the road to Birmingham, which is an hour away, go get my nails done, shop a little at Trader Joe's, and get back here for a final presentation and class later today. Yeah, I'm crazy. I know it. I didn't go to the gym this morning, but let me show you my outfit. It's so cute. Also, my room's a mess. What's new? Here it is. This is a dress. I believe the brand is called Onesie. Sydney actually got this for me for my 22nd birthday. I'm wearing these little CC Chanel earrings, and then it has actually another sports bra. She bought me underneath it in the same pink gingham. It's an exercise dress. It is so stinking cute. And then I'm wearing my little white Gucci sneakers, just because I think it looks super cute. And I'm going to carry around my Neverfull it kind of all goes together with the little like almost gingham and the light pink on the inside of my bag. This is what we're wearing. I'm so excited to go get my nails done. It is, again, much needed if you can see. They're very, very, very grown up, but those are my real nails. So, fun fact. Let's go to Birmingham, have a shopping day, and then go to class later. I was going to make this sort of like a drive with me video, and then I realized I still haven't bought a new car mount for this car, so... We're not doing that. And you want know, to know what song has stuck in my head all day? Ray Charles, like by Chitty Bang, from like when I was, I don't know, 9, 10. I don't even know when that song came out, but what? Because we're very on the go this morning, I'm just gonna make myself a protein, not shake, because I'm not blending it, but I'm gonna use this Fruity Pebbles protein powder, which is amazing. I'm literally obsessed with it. Okay, so we're gonna do one scoop of that. It's 25 grams of protein, so I should be good until I get to in here. I'm gonna add in four or five ice cubes. Actually shake mine up with cashew milk. I used to do it with water sometimes, but when I was at the store, I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy cashew milk so I can mix it up, make sure that lid is closed. And because I'm gonna be driving, little metal straw, uh, kind of is too short. Mm. It literally tastes like the milk of Fruity Pebbles. Like, who doesn't love it? I'm also gonna bring this no cow chocolate chip cookie dough protein bar with me, just in case I can't get food in time. And then, of course, some water. Let's hope there's no morning traffic. Let's go to Birmingham. Okay, I'm gonna see how long you last up here for now. I don't think it's gonna be very long. Fun in fact, I forgot to put on mascara this morning. I just realized as I got in the car. They open at 9.30 and my appointment's at 9.30, so I figure even if I'm like one or two minutes late, I'm probably okay, but I'm gonna get there at 9.29 according to Waze. It takes about a minute to park and walk up there, so it should be good. I used to actually work over at the Summit where this nail place is, which is how I started going to Anthony Vince in the first place uh, at the Lily Pulitzer, and then once it closed down due to COVID, and I was getting busier, life was getting busier, I stopped working there because obviously they closed down. That Lily Pulitzer does not exist anymore, so I know my way around and how to get there and the timing and everything, but I like to have ways in case there's like accidents, police, traffic, those kinds of things. I just kind of have it playing in the background on my way over there. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna listen to some music, get my day going. I can already tell you my camera is slipping and it's not gonna stay there. And I also don't want to be distracted by the camera. I don't really know how people do like drive with me videos. Maybe if you have a car mount, it's a little bit of a different story. Um, but I will see you guys in Birmingham. Okie dokie, hey guys. Um, I got here just a couple minutes early because whatever traffic it was predicting on a ways went away by the time I got there. So it's 9.25, I've got five minutes until they even open, let alone until my appointment. I have no clue what I'm doing with my nails yet. So that's what I'm gonna do is <laughs> sit here on Pinterest and figure it out. I have glitter French right now and I'm gonna be getting my nails done one more time before I graduate in less than four weeks. So it doesn't necessarily need to be anything. It could be fun or not fun at all. I have no clue. I totally regret not grabbing a Celsius before I got on that drive because I was driving and I was like, man, I am tired. I don't have time to stop for coffee. So I'm just gonna be tired. This also definitely is a business only trip as much as I'd wanna go to some of the boutiques up here. I'm like, oh, I have an assignment due by five, but I have a presentation at three. So it needs to be done before that presentation. I think all these nail designs are cool they just don't seem very practical for dip i'd have to get my nails dipped and then gelled which just seems like such a problem i think a lot of these are too complicated so i might just go in there and pick a fun color like i kind of like this color you can barely tell but it's like a stone color can you tell also fun fact i don't drive with shoes on um i don't know it freaks me out i like to be able to feel the pedal 
So, oh, somebody just pulled next to me. So I put my shoes back on and head over there because it's 928. Like maybe the doors will be open a little early. I just feel would feel so weird if I was the only person in there like 930. Please let me in. Okay, let's get on with it. I'm gonna bring in my water. I'm done with my protein, little milk shake, whatever you want to call that. Get our nails done. Time for a transformation. A little chillier in Birmingham than it is in Tuscaloosa. Just a little bit of a breeze for this dress. Okay, oh well, here we are. Okay, here they are. I literally just chose a pink and it happens to be literally like the same pink of my dread. I love it. It's just springy and fun and cute and so me. Y'all, I need some sort of Celsius or something because I swear I yawn at least 12 times sitting there while getting my nails done. I can't even believe it. I mean, they are so pretty, but I haven't had any caffeine this morning, so I don't know what I need, but it is something. I actually just drove over. It's literally like right up a little hill and I'm at Trader Joe's. Ah! We don't have Trader Joe's in Tuscaloosa, so we're gonna do a little bit of grocery shopping and then get on the way back to Tuscaloosa. This was a business only trip. Like I said, it's 10.32 at the moment. Hoping to be in and out of here in less than 30 minutes. Like just really quick, grab what I need. I mean, we'll see. I think I might also stop at the Target that's kind of on the way home and literally buy a Celsius because I just like don't want to feel like this and it's horrible that I'm like addicted to caffeine or whatever it is, but 10.30 I should not be this tired considering I got like at least seven and a half hours of sleep last night. I don't even know. Let's go shopping at Trader Joe's, get some food, frozen food, fresh food, but also stuff that won't go bad over the weekend while I'm gone. Success, it is 10.53 and I have got all my stuff in the back, you guys. Look at these flowers. I'm gonna do a little haul when I get home, but I don't know where the freak I'm putting these, but like I needed them. My jaw almost fell to the floor. I almost whipped out my vlog camera, but it was so busy in there. These protein bars. This is called Fulfill. They come in a bigger size than this, but this is what Trader Joe's had. My favorite protein bars in the whole world. This is like all I would eat when I lived abroad in Belgium, protein bar wise. They are my favorite. The last time I was in London in the Heathrow airport, I brought back almost 40 protein bars to eat sophomore year after fall break. Like I'm obsessed with these. The fact that Trader Joe's had them, I can't seem to get them anywhere in the United States or get them shipped here for any sort of reasonable price. So even though those are littler ones, I'm just so happy. Like this is what I'm gonna eat right now. And I'm also gonna stop at Target, especially because I got out early. There is a Target, I believe, just off of the highway, like on the way home. We're gonna go to the Hoover Target. It's 14 minutes away. It's on the way back to Tuscaloosa. So I'm gonna get on my way over there. I need to get like a bag and tissue paper for a little gift that I'm giving as a side note and try and look for a little pants and then buy a Celsius. I'm feeling a little bit better, but I definitely think a Celsius would help and I don't think I can make it home first, but I'm gonna eat. Where did I just put that? I'm gonna eat this protein bar and get on to Target. Then we can get back, finish a case study, start some laundry and get to class for a final presentation. Alrighty, got my stuff got a Celsius and they actually had the mango passion fruit one there so that's the one that I got. I'm gonna crack it open and we're gonna get on our way back to Tuscaloosa to get right into some homework and laundry. Okay quick little haul obviously you saw the flowers. I got the hash browns. You guys have actually never had these before but everyone raves about these hash browns. Even my mom of course these chocolate covered bananas. I got them for like the first time last time and they were so good. And this veggie and green salad kit. I figured I would have this today with like maybe some shrimp. Three things of the soup dumplings. I love them. I haven't tried the pork and ginger so I grabbed one of those and these ones are just the chicken. Also I never tried chocolate croissants. I know, I know. So I got one of those. Love this. They're like, I call this the packet pasta because they look like little packages. And they've got stuff in them with pink sauce. Got some mashed cauliflower because I think this is really yummy. Got some salmon. I'm either gonna freeze this or just keep it in the fridge because it says sell by the 18th and I'll be back by then. Found this on a TikTok creamy, like spreadable goat cheese. So we're gonna try that. Love these. Everything but the bagel nut duo. Love. I've never tried this, teriyaki turkey jerky. I don't know, it sounded like a good like plain snack. I'm not sure. Also, onion chips. I actually really like onions, so I thought I would try these out. I don't know what they're gonna be like. And then of course, those fulfill protein bars, and then two of the caramel cashew and one cookies and cream bar. Oh, I also wanna try this. Hearts of palm pasta and got some mango. And then from Target, 
just a bag and a tissue paper. Also got some dry shampoo. I've never used this one before, but I've used Batiste. They just didn't have my volumizing one. So I picked Tropical. I also got these cute little earrings on clearance for like $4. just thought they were so cute, like a little white star with a gold hoop. I can never have too many earrings. That's kind of everything I've got, and I'm gonna put it away because it's been out of the freezer section for like an hour and a half now, so I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so this is the Business Professional top I think I'm gonna wear. It's a Lily Plitzer Elsa top, and I just pulled out a couple of my Case Defy phone cases because you guys know I love Case Defy. I've had this cute little sunflower blue case on for a while, but I think I'm gonna change it, and I'm really leaning toward... <sighs> This one, the cow print cowgirl hats. I think yeehaw for the last few weeks of school. Obviously you guys know I work with Case Defy every month because I love them. Case Defy cases save my phone so many times. Their Chi Tech 2.0 allows for 9.8 feet of drop proof protection. If you know me, I drop my phone a lot. So that 9.8 feet saves me every time. Here are just a few of my Case Defy cases. Obviously you can tell there are endless print options. You can also add your name monogram obviously i go get around here i customize this other one to say be the light i just absolutely love them plus these cases are 100 percent non-toxic and non-hazardous with an antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ free killing 99 percent of bacteria and then the one i'm going to put on it is one of their new ultra cases which is made with 65 percent of recycled and plant-based materials and they're compatible with 5g and wireless charging so it's literally perfect so i'm going to put this one on my phone it literally still has the plastic. Also, look at the side of this. That's where it says it's made with recycled materials, but it almost looks sparkly with the speckles. I love it. Let's put it on my phone. Okay. I'm obsessed, just like I knew I would be. Oh my goodness, and Case Defy is offering you guys 15% off if you go to casedefy.com slash Gracie, and let me know which one that you guys get in the comments down below. Okay, even though I have this on right now, I'm actually going to put back on my little gingham dress because I don't feel like walking to campus in this and the little pants, so I'm gonna put back on the tennis dress and get on over to the final presentation. It's crazy, everything's wrapping up so wild. Also, if you saw earlier, and it's kind of gotten better, um, I've been having like this little reactions under my eyes. It was terrible this morning and I forgot to mention something about it. Obviously it's looking a little bit better right now but I've been to the dermatologist. I'm like on some stuff. She doesn't really know what it is but I've been trying to like switch up makeup wipes, makeup, things like that. See if it'll go away. So don't worry about me. I'm all good. Nobody like hit me or anything. It's just a little reaction. I've been home. I submitted my case. I also tried on a bunch of clothes. I think I'm gonna make a TikTok about it. My room is a bomb. That's gonna happen later, but I put back on this outfit. I threw my business professional into my backpack. I'm gonna change when I get there because I'm gonna walk to campus, and I love this dress. Shout out to Sydney again. I just think it's so cute, and then I just switched to these Nike ones because they're more comfortable to walk in. Look, like, I just have... <sighs> This is not an example of how my life is going and will continue to go until I graduate. I don't know what is. So enjoy the messy room. It's not really who I am. It's who I am now. Here's the outfit. Let's get to our final presentation for one of my classes. Our final presentation went so well. Actually, we got our grade back and we already got 100. So I'm very excited about that. I'm sitting. Here at Pi Fi, I just went inside and got a drink to bring home. Hello, watermelon Celsius for free, included in my deuce. So I grabbed that and a little um, trail mix. I just eat the chocolate and raisins out of it, which is terrible, but that's exactly what I want right now. Changed back into my regular clothes. I was in business professional, didn't film anything in that. Obviously could not film our presentation. And now I'm just kind of starting on another case study. This is due a week from today, but I figured I would get ahead of it since I'm out of town this weekend and I don't want to be working on it this weekend. And I have just about 40 minutes until my next class, so I came back to the house. I was an M&M too. Anyway, pretty chill day. Did I say I have a date party tonight? Well, I do. My business fraternity has our old old gala tonight, so that'll be part of... I can't even talk. That'll be part of the video today, so... Sitting here, I'll pie for it, and then I'll bring you along to my 490 class, because Lauren's in that one, too. Alrighty. Leaving the house. Heading over to class. And then it's officially the weekend. Um, so, but so rivalry is lesser. Hello, I'm home. <laughs> I have already started to do my makeup. I have to do a quick body shower. Now I'm contouring my face currently, and I was like... <gasps> 
I'm vlogging, duh. So here I am getting ready for my business fraternity date party. Oh, give me a second. Sorry, that was Lauren, I love her. She's also our um, social events chair, so we were just double checking because there is a severe thunderstorm warning, but the university hasn't canceled anything and that, therefore DSP doesn't have to cancel anything, which is really good. But today's been a good day with that 100 on our final presentation, which we really couldn't believe it. That was really exciting. And then I had like my case study discussion, which I sort of filmed just a teeny tiny bit. I got some dinner at the house. It was so good. I brought it home, but I was actually on a business phone call while I was eating it. It just kind of happened to be at the same time, I had to multitask. So obviously I couldn't film like what was happening on that. So I didn't film it, but I did get an extra plate for my date who's coming over for this date party. Um, so I can just kind of show you what it was like. It was so good. It was tilapia with pineapple salsa and cream sauce and Hawaiian rolls and rice and green beans. And it seriously was so delicious. But I want to be leaving here in like 20, 25 minutes, which I think is totally possible. I don't take very long to get ready. Honestly, all I just put on was this Maybelline Dream B be fresh just to get like a little bit of something and I set it with this uh, translucent powder from L'Oreal. I don't really use fancy makeup and this Neutrogena like contour and now NYX little sweet cheeks blush that I'm gonna do and a little bit of BH Cosmetics blush over it to kind of set it. I really like a, a blushy look and I've started to put it on the tip of my nose which obviously I'm also gonna put highlighter and it just looks so pretty in my I like a natural look, a natural fresh. It makes me look kind of like I got a little bit of sun. This is the BH Vanilla Peach Truffle Palette. You guys, I am by no means a beauty influencer of any sort. I can't even really consider myself to be able to do makeup in general. I just kind of do my best. Now going in with Benefit Hula stuff on the sides of my nose because I hate my nose. I think it's too big, but too afraid to get a nose job. But we all have things about ourselves that other people don't see as a problem, which is usually that for me. Except for one time in the fifth grade or sixth grade, a boy told me I had a really big nose and it made me so sad. I also made myself a drink. I got a Starbucks mango dragon fruit refresher on my way home, made with water, and just put a little bit of Tito's in it. It's so good, keeping it in this little swig glass. So here's the look so far. It's kind of hard to tell this lighting is actually terrible. And then going in with this Laura Mercier highlighter in indiscretion and this Laura Mercier brush that I was told to buy by the sales lady. That's the makeup look. I'm also gonna use this stuff because I've been obsessed with it recently. Kosas, I got it off of Revolve. It's like liquid eyeshadow and I've just been putting a little bit on my eyelids for like photos. Like I did this for grad photos. Well, I lost the brush I used this one. That's not helpful at all. That's about it, that's the makeup look, but it gets better because I'm just gonna set it with some setting spray really quick. I got that new dry shampoo today, so I'm gonna try that out. Whoa, whoa. It smells good. This smells like an island vacation. Usually for events like this, I would curl my hair or do something, but two things. It's my business fraternity and I just don't feel like it. So I'm either gonna leave it down. Oh, it just makes my hair look so much better. Or like in a low pony. And then to just top it all off, I'm gonna put on a little bit more mascara on my lower lashes to make them stand out a little more. I also didn't realize that whole time the dryer was on. So I hope you could hear me. That's the look. And now I'm gonna get changed, put on some jewelry, some lips, and I'll see you after because my camera is about to die. Okay, so this was the pie fi dinner. I've added a lot of rolls in this one. But the Hawaiian rolls with the green beans and then this is the fish. It was so good with the rice and the salsa and the sauce. Obviously it needs to be heated up, but it, I swear it looked good when I first got it, but this is dinner. Okay, I put my hair in this tight ponytail and I'm gonna put on a red lip. Here's the dress. I'll show you in the mirror because it's got crystals down the side. I have no clue what shoes I'm wearing yet. Probably black heels because this is silver. So I'm gonna have to figure that out because I don't own a lot of silver stuff. Ooh, somebody's calling me. My room's still a mess. Nothing new. Um, I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing. Pulled my hair back like you saw into this tight ponytail and then put in these little champagne earrings. The only thing I kind of had relatively close to silver put on a red lip. And then this is the dress. It's super down revolve. It actually goes longer, but I'm a little short. And then on the side, it's got these like crystal, you know, and I am bringing my Prada bag. I'm going to be keeping very good care of it, but you know, it just goes. And then these black heels I think are from, I'm not really sure, Steve Madden, I think. This is the fit. We're gonna go to our little old gold gala, even though I'm not even wearing gold at all, but, and I will see you later tomorrow, depending on 
how much I drank. <laughs> Good morning, it's the next morning and I'm going to end the vlog here. Last night was so fun, actually. We had the date party and then we went next door to Innes, uh, which is like a little Irish pub. And we had another drink and then went home and all was well. And now I'm just getting ready to do some other stuff. It's Thursday, so I don't really have class, but I am leaving tonight to stay the night at a hotel before we go to the airport and out of town. And I'm really excited. I love you all so much. If you are new here, make sure that you subscribe down below and you guys can also follow me on Instagram. There's a lot of fun over there. I've been loving making reels recently and things like that. I love you all so much. Thank you for staying patient with me these last few weeks of school. I am drowning. So if I'm not posting as much, like I didn't get up a video this week and I probably won't get up one on Friday. I'm trying, but oh man, I, there's just a lot to do for school. And I really apologize. So thank you for staying patient. Summer is coming soon and graduation and being able to post full time. I'm so excited. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.